Okay, flour, water, eggs, cinnamon. Oh, wow. Okay, I have 20 minutes to make this fall dessert ready. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. Okay, we got the water. Oh, wow, that crispy air felt so good outside. And now I'm walking into some baking. I cannot wait to smell this. Oh man, I have to hurry, I have to hurry. Hey, Julie, what's the rush though? Don't you just wanna make sure you're doing the right recipe for the dessert? Okay, um, Gabby, I'm a little busy right now. Okay, um, maybe, how can I help? You seem to be rushing through all of it, so maybe I can help or? Okay, something? you know what? How about you tell our KE friends about worship while I finish this dessert? Okay, good idea. All right, KE friends, let's all fall into some fun today with our KE worship.
knowing you won't let me sink Trust you deeper, keep believing that you are I wanna walk on water smell good all right but I've had my apple cinnamon cake baking for a whole five minutes that's five minutes I can't believe it's been taking so long I'm gonna be a hundred by the time it's done okay, well, <laughs> some good things just take time I can sit here all day waiting for something that delicious <sighs> uh, I guess I just have to wish could I just transport myself to future me like an hour from now? Do you think it'll be ready by then? Because future me has to be enjoying that deliciousness. Okay, future you is you, but oh. listen, you really gotta learn to wait. So just sit this out, be cool, and know that eventually it'll be time to eat. Okay, fine. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Well, you know, that's a good question. How about we learn about a little thing called patience? Patience? Oh, sister, I have patience. Patience. Okay, yeah, sure you do. So how about a refresher then? What do you say to that? Okay, you're right. I guess my KE friends might need a refresher on that. All right, Lovely. let's dive in. Rise and shine, everybody. Hey there. It's time to get up and at them here on the farm. I'm up and I'm at them. Now life here on the farm isn't always fast paced. There's a lot of times when we gotta wait for things around here. Like waiting for Henny Penny to lay a fresh egg for us to scramble in the morning. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Or waiting for fish to bite when we've been sitting in the heat all day long. But what about waiting for a banana to get good and ripe before you peel it open and have a treat? Speaking of bananas, we got another fruit of the spirit to talk about. Now the fruit of the spirit is all the good things that God grows in our hearts as we follow Jesus every day. You know, that reminds me of that song we made a while back about all the fruit of the spirit. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's sing it. The fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you wanna be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. 
you wanna be a banana, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Hmm, so good. Today, we're going to talk about popcorn. Pop Here on the farm, we take the corn right off the stalk and we cook it right no, up. No, 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 not popcorn, not popcorn. Today, we're going to talk about pitchforks. We have so many pitchforks here on the farm, and we use them for everything, feeding horses, moving hay, even. No, okay. we're not talking about pitchforks. Okay. Today, we're talking about pancakes. <sighs> They're so light and fluffy. When you put butter and syrup on them, it's a uh, may. Say it with me. Zing. Zing. Okay, no, seriously. Today, we're talking about patience. Mm. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to learn a thing or two about patience. How can learning about patience help me? Well, patience is waiting with a happy heart. We can learn all about it in the Bible. There was a man named David who had to wait a really long time for something. You see, when David was a boy, God told the prophet Samuel that David would one day be the king of Israel. But there was already a king named Saul, so David had to wait his turn. But God gave him a happy heart while he waited. Yep, because David was filled with God's spirit, he continued to do what God wanted him to do. He even served King Saul while he waited. In fact, the Bible tells us that David did not become king until he was 30 years old. That's a long time to wait. But because David was patient, God used him in a big way. David became one of the greatest kings in Israel. So the next time you have to wait for something, whether it's a few minutes or several years, remember that a fruit of the Spirit is patience. And patience is waiting, waiting with, with a happy, happy heart. heart. What do you think that chicken's talking about? I don't understand chicken. Mm. But I think it's almost time for that snack. Well, good, because I have been waiting patiently all morning. Wait, did I hear that right? David knew that he would eventually be king, and yet he was serving King Saul while he waited? You did, in fact, hear that right. Man, that had to have been hard. A real test. Can you imagine someone you know is the leader of the game, but you are going to be the leader eventually? I mean, whoo. Why didn't he just say, hey Saul, I'm gonna be the king one day too. Find someone else to serve you. Well, that's what's really crazy because he totally could have done that, you know? Yeah. But that wouldn't have been the right thing to do. And while he waited, he got to practice having patience. Patience, I tell ya! <laughs> That word is hard to put into practice, Gabby. All right, well, here, we can practice together now. Let's see who's patient enough to win this game. A game? Well, I guess it's my favorite time. Game time. Katie, friends, you are gonna play fake feather. Are you guys ready for this game? You're gonna get one feather and you have to blow it up in the air and leave it up there as long as possible. You gotta keep blowing your air to the feather. The winner will be the one that has the feather up the longest.
That was so much fun. It really was, Gabby. See how good it can be to be patient sometimes? You might even win a game because of it. Well, yeah. Yeah, you're right, I guess. But we know that that's not the whole point of this whole patience thing anyway. It's not? Oh, wait. So what's the point anyway? <laughs> okay, well, let's jump into another Bible story to find out. Stories of the Bible. God's promise for Abraham. This is Abram, who later will be known as Abraham. Hey. When Abram was in the land called Canaan, God told him to look over the land as far as his eyes could see. God promised that the land would be blessed and that Abram would have many children. Oh! 25 years passed. Abram and Sarai were very old and still had no children. God appeared to Abram and said, Do not be afraid. I am your shield. A son is coming. Look at the heavens and count the stars. Someday, you will have as many children as there are stars in the sky. Years later, Abraham and Sarai still had no children. God appeared to Abram again and told Abram that his name would no longer be Abram, but it would be Abraham, which means father of many nations. Ah. God also told Abraham that Sarai's name would be changed to Sarah. God promised to bless Sarah and told Abraham that she would become pregnant and have a son. Ah. God made a covenant with Abraham, and God gave Abraham a way to show that he and his children were part of God's covenant. Abraham and Sarah did have a son named Isaac. Ah. God's promises came true for Abraham and Sarah. Abraham became the father of many nations, and from his child came children, and from their children, more children, until Abraham's descendants were truly more numerous than the stars in the sky, just as the Lord had promised. Wow, so Abraham and Sarah really wanted to have kids, and God promised Abraham he would have kids. But doesn't it take like nine months for a mom to have a baby? Well, yeah, but Abraham and Sarah had to wait it out for 25 years before Sarah even got pregnant with her promised son, Isaac. Wow, okay, I think I would have given up and thought that God had forgotten about me. Well, I probably would have too. And for a minute, Abraham and Sarah did too. But they had to be patient. They waited and waited and waited, trusting God, and God gave them a son. That must have taken a lot of patience. If they can be patient, I think I can too. And that's the whole point, Jules. You're bringing us all the way around to our takeaway for the day. Oh, awesome. All right, KE friends, stretch up high to the sky and stand up with us. KE okay, friends, repeat after us. You ready? I can. I can. Be patient. Be patient. You guys sound great. This time, let's say it all together. You ready? I, I can. can. Be, be patient. patient. Amazing job, guys. Stay standing as we go over our Bible verse. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Come on, y'all. 
Let's ride. In the air, cause I'm gonna praise God everywhere. Now wait to the people standing over there. Do I look like a fool? I don't care. Lean back, give God the glory. Lean, lean, yeah, that's the story. Start up more and say a prayer. Cause I'm gonna praise God everywhere. I won't stop the praising my God. Better than good. Won't stop. so much for being so patient with us today. It's finally time. Let's reflect on all we got to learn. Our first question is, what did David do while he waited to become king? Our second question is, does God forget what he promises us even if it's been a while? question is, why does God want us to be patient? What can we learn when we are patient? KE friends, it's the best part of the day, getting to talk to our forever friend. Gabby, what do you say we talk to him right now? Let's do it. Hey God, thank you for sending your spirit to grow patience in our hearts. Please help us to wait with happy hearts every day. We love you. Amen. Oh, okay. My dessert! It came out really bad and it exploded on my face. Oh no, Julie, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I think next time I should bake something. I just need to be patient. Just how Abraham and Sarah were. <laughs> On the bright side, I got to watch you speed through what seemed like a baking competition. It was hilarious, and you were throwing the ingredients in, like someone was chasing you. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Man, what I have an idea, a though. day. How about I help you make your fall dessert again, and this time we be patient while it bakes. <gasps> in the meantime, can I chase you around with my fun-filled whisk? Okay, but let's say bye to my KE friends first. Bye, KE friends! <laughs> <laughs>